Hello CyanogenMod Mod users. Today we had an update from 0.5 alpha to 0.6 alpha. Let's take a little look. We're going to need to download three files this time around. The 0.6 update file, two files for the resolution. You can see here I've applied the 120, changing the LCD density, changing our resolution. Has that higher resolution look. Of course it also has that higher resolution smaller font size. It's recommended in the release notes that we change this to a higher size. I'll show you how to do that. We're going to go into settings, system, font size. I have it set to large already. We're going to set it to huge. You'll notice a little lag going into your desktop once you do this. Icons will readjust themselves. A little bit of a help. This is as large as they get. So if you don't like this, you're going to have the three files. You're going to need to install this exactly like you did the 0.5 alpha patch. So you're going to need to reboot it into the clockwork mod, install it from a zip file. But this time there's going to be three. So once you've installed the 0.6 update, uh, which I'll put a link to the 0.5 instructions, this is identical. Uh, you're going to need to go back in there and change it to the 120 if you want to try this resolution. Next up, in this release, uh, there's been a little update to help hide the taskbar here at the bottom of the clock. So when we're running applications, it'll hide itself. Um, now this is a new change uh, and won't be really effective until apps are updated. Let me show you how to uh, change that. Again, we're going to need to go into the settings, system, and combine bar. We're going to select auto hide. Now again, uh, this won't be fully effective until all the apps have updated to support this. It works now in the MX video player, so we'll try that. Again, this bar on the bottom is what will disappear the clock, so we'll have a full screen view. We begin with the ancient ceremony of roll call. Oh, ugly Americans. Wizard of the air. Right here. Wizard of social services. In the house. Wizard of copyright infringement. You shall not sue. And the rest. Apprentices. Anyways, nice to see. Uh, it pops back up. Once we pause the video, soon it will be working in other applications, although there hasn't really been any change in any games that I've seen so far, uh, YouTube or the Dolphin browser. So hopefully in the future, once apps are, apps are updated, uh, we'll see more of this. Nice little update. Uh, the final bit of this update was changed to the shutdown and power button options. Uh, you can see here we have uh, new menu options. Uh, I should note that the reboot sometimes powers off instead of rebooting, so you'll need to keep an eye on the screen. When we do go into reboot, we'll have an additional menu for recovery and bootloader, which is a very handy little menu. Uh, so for instance, if you don't like this, you'll need to go back in there, go into the bootloader. So let's, let's look at how the install works here. Here we go. Now, to apply the update and the screen resolution change, we're going to need to go to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card. And here you see at the bottom, I have the install file, the 120 LCD display, and the 160. Uh, so now we're going to change the screen density from the default of 160 to the 120, and we're going to see what we had here. We can change it back in the exact same method as you'll see here. Yes. And it'll take a little time to load itself up and remodify all your apps and everything. Uh, but it works just fine. Thank you, Cyanogen Mod Team. It's been great to have uh, these updates coming so quickly. I cannot wait to uh, get the sound updates as well. Still having a little bit of sound problems. Once we've done, we're going to need to reboot.
and all you have to do is wait and you'll be back in. Again, this will work for the update and changing the resolution as many times as you feel necessary. This has been the update for Cytogen Mod 0.6 Alpha. Thank you for watching.